All right, going to do another one. I thought I was uh, kind of getting done with Chris's, but I made a mistake on the last one I did. I think it was a Chris Mach 3B, and I said the variable underneath, which I didn't show, um, was a input tuner or input SWR adjustment. Come to find out on these Chris's, and I found that out on this power pump I was working on here, that um, that's not the case. Uh, this power pump you see has two variables, but on the front you notice it's got tune, which is the final tune. Then it's got drive, which is the driver tune. So that's basically final tune, driver tune. But where's the load cap? Um, if you notice on this um, Chris 3 plus 3 over here and some of the other Chris's it's got you know tune and load on the front you know which is for your finals and it's got driver tune here and most amps don't have a driver load they just have a simple L circuit and this have a, uh, a coil for the uh, driver and a um, tune cap which would be this here C17 and L3 here most amps just have that this is the driver tube here and if you notice the I yellowed it here that's the input circuit for the driver tube it goes straight from your coax through the relay straight to the um, input of the tune of the tube no tuner and then the output of the driver um, again most have just a um, drive tune and the coil but up here C18 is a driver load and then that's the final tubes and the output of the finals are the tune and load and that choke up there that's a PI circuit it's called PI and one with just a um, coil and a cap would be a L circuit the simpler circuit and most use the L circuit for drivers but not Chris they use a um, full pi circuit but come to find out on this power pump here they put both the load caps underneath I don't like that at all um, on the front you'll see tune which is the final tune just like any other amp but instead of a load it's got drive and that's the driver tune again and both the loads are over here that would be the driver load cap and then that's the driver, no, I'm sorry, final load cap down there. So if you're trying to tune and load, especially on the outputs, because you change antennas or your antenna gets wet or you go from flat to vertical or, you know, from ground plane to beam, you need to adjust your load. But on this power pump, your load is, you know, under the chassis, under here. No easy way to get to it. So... I don't like that at all and there is no input tuning on it so I wanted to show that and correct that mistake I made on that last one where I said the um, input SWR was underneath this is basically the same as the Mach 3B same tube layout almost same everything except the Mach 3 they took that um, driver no they took the final load and put it on the front too so it's got a normal tune and load um, for the final and then a driver tune and then the driver load is still underneath too it, it works like this um, Mach 3 plus 3 over here no preamp just a basic amp um, power on light transmit light got a meter uh, transmit standby and AM SSB no low side no preamp no variable um, just a basic one driving two amp so anyway we're gonna let it warm up right quick and put it on the watt meter uh, we're running the uh, tram Titan it's only doing about watt watt and a half um, going into it so don't have a lot of drive into it Oh, and while I'm warming up, this is a chart that came with a Chris manual, and I got highlighted the uh, different amps, and over here is the uh, maximum power output, you know, uh, 115, 115 for the two tubers, 
130 for the small uh, three tuber and then um, 300 for the one driving three the four tuber and um, the ones with the driver it says maximum of five watts drive and then the ones without the driver is maximum of 15 watts drive so um, you can find that chart I think on CB tricks but um okay we should be warmed up now um, 200 watt scale I think we're on average hopefully we're still tuned up and with, with about one watt in we're doing 60 audio audio talking about 70 listen to about 80 85 on average and let's write quick on peak watts audio 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 about 130 watts peak whistling at 120 I always find that interesting when you uh, on peak it whistles less than what you talk to but anyway that's on a dummy low very low drive going into it um, not that much swing either not doing a lot of watts out of the uh, tram Titan actually that's the uh, watt meter in between the um, radio and the amp so it's actually about two and a half watts dead key hello 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 talking about eight input SWR of um, about 1.8 if you can see that with the camera so anyway that's it on this little Chris um, basically a good little 100 watt amp um, doing what it's supposed to do no thrills no frills just a basic uh, one small t tube driving two 6LQ6 tubes on it but again on this one I don't like that um, final load cap being underneath there maybe that's why they changed it with the um, Mach um, 3B basically the same amp except they put the um, put the load on the front with three knobs on the front like that one okay that's it for this one hopefully no mistakes with this one bye